So I've just been given this After Effects file, and if I scrub through here, I can see there's a bunch of animation going on. So let's try and work out what's going on inside of here. So let's say come down to Package 5. Let's twirl that open. Okay, I'm seeing the dots here inside of the timeline. Okay, so we know we've got some keyframes in there. We've got to dig a little deeper, open up Transform, and hey, there's our keyframes. Very nice. Okay, so what about our Package 4? Twirl it open. There's some more keyframes. Package 3. There's some more keyframes. Now I've only opened three of many layers and you can see I'm already having to do a lot of vertical scrolling just to get around this comp. Is there a better way to display only the keyframed properties within a file? And thankfully the answer is yes. Let me just close these up. And I'm going to start out by just selecting this package five layer just here. Now up under animation, if I come down to Reveal Properties with Keyframes, click on that, check it out. It's showing just the Y position here, which is the only thing that's been keyframed. Fantastic. And if I go back to that same option, Animation, Reveal Properties with Keyframes again, if I select that again, it will close that up. Now notice the keyboard shortcut there as well, the letter U. So I'm just going to, with Package 5 layer still selected, tap the U key. Sure enough, it shows just the keyframes, tap U again, and it hides it up there like so. You can also use this with, say, a few different layers selected. So I might just select three layers just here, press the U key, and that's showing you just the keyframes on those three layers. Tapping U again will hide those. Now I could also select everything, or if I just click away with nothing selected, either of those options, if I tap the U key just now, it will show me the keyframes for every single layer within this comp. So that's it there guys, I hope that helps the U key for showing just your keyframed properties here inside of After Effects. Catch you later.